Welcome back, Captain. Now that you have acquired a nav key to Stellar Bay, would you like me to contact Dr. Wells? Well done. You'll love Monarch. Exotic climate, violent native species, fascinating culture, really. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. <laughs> no, never. Monarch is a hotbed of political activity. I can't imagine why Hiram set up shop there. Cuisine, perhaps? You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Nioka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Once you have everything you need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. Best of luck. Everyone on the Hope is counting on you. Orbit above Stellar Bay, Captain. No blockade is a match for my piloting skills. Hold on there. I gotta sign you in. Don't think I've seen you around. That means you must be new to Stellar Bay. You are new here, right?
You must have seen those UDL gunships on your way in. There's only three of them these days. Still, they tend to scare folk off. You may not have heard, you being new, but Stellar Bay hardly ever gets off-world traffic. Us being cut off by the board and all. Which means I never get to do this part, but I've been practicing, so here goes. On behalf of Monarch Stellar Industries, welcome to Stellar Bay, home of the freshest Sal Tuna and Halcyon. Please state your name for the records. Swell. There's one for the logs. I'm even going to give you your own entry code. I'm not supposed to do that. It's against procedure, but Mr. Sanjar isn't so strict about the rules here. Besides, I got a lot of empty entries to fill. We don't get ship traffic in town. Only off-worlders who do make it out here are sublight. They got a base in Fallbrook. And thank the stars for them, or we would have run out of Rizzo's Purple Berry Crunch years ago. Oh, that'll just make Mr. Sanjar's day if you tell him. The board makes up lots of nasty stories about raptodons and cannibals and whatnot. But that's all outside our walls. Mostly. Did he just say raptodons and cannibals? I can't wait! Oh, sure. It makes Stellar Bay sound like a rotten place, but it's not so bad. Get a good breeze going, and the sulfur smell mostly covers up the fishy smell. Ah, the nostalgic stench of home. Can't say I miss the day-to-day -day of living in Edgewater. Anyway, Mr. Sanjar's got lots to say on that subject. Kinda goes over my head, though. Mr. Sanjar will be mighty pleased to meet you. If you see him over at headquarters, maybe you could tell him I did a bang-up job of welcoming you? Oh, and if you're headed that way, maybe you could do me a favor? I got this Rizzo's Rangers Tosswell poster coming in on the next sublight shipment, signed by the Black Hole himself. Only I haven't heard anything in a while. You think you could check with Celia to see if it's come in? Boss, come on. Black Hole Birdie, the Hole Meister, the Hack Attack. That's Birdie Holcomb, only one of the greatest Tosswell hackers ever. Everyone's heard of him, even on Monarch. We still get some of the games. You've been living in a sulfur pit or something? On account of him being the best hacker who ever played, nothing gets by him. He sucks up every ball that comes his way. Whatever you say, I could talk toss ball for hours. I couldn't really say, I'm just a fan of the game. But the fancy collector types say the more people see these things, the less valuable they are. And I figure my poster's been passed around by more than a few people by now. Thanks a bunch! Celia works for Mr. Sanjar in the MSI building next to the bar. She's always there, so you can't miss her. Well, well. Isn't often we see new folk in Stellar Bay. First drink's on me, stranger. A 
Enjoy. If you plan on sitting through Nyoka's stories, you might could use a few. I could use a few in telling them myself. Now what can I do for you? Thought it had a fancy ring to it. Name's the first advertising anyone sees, after all. Nope. But a man can dream. Not since Amber Heights. These days we have more leaving than coming. Off to join the Iconoclasts or some such. Bunch of marauders broke into the executive compound, slaughtered everyone. Corporations pulled out of Monarch not long after. I thought everyone knew, but then that was ten years ago. Still feels fresh to us every time we look at our walls, though. Anyone who spends any amount of time in this bar is bound to get to know Nyoka, on account of her being here so often herself. And I don't mean that unkindly. Anyone who's rid us of as many beasts as you have is entitled to a few drinks. Something else I can do for you? Wrapped musk and painted eyes, right here. Ma'am, please, I need your help. I can... Oh, thank you for stopping. Everyone acts like nothing's wrong. Like my little boy isn't at risk of being eaten by some vile creature. Please, you have to help me get my little Tucker back. He ran away and is going to get himself killed. Oh, I, I just know a Raptodon is melting him with acid as we speak. Don't you tell me to calm down. I promised my boy I'd protect him for always. But how can I keep him safe if he's run away? He ran out into the wilderness a few days ago. I warned him about the raptodons, mantisaurs and marauders, the toxic sulfur pools and poisonous plants, but he didn't listen. Please, won't you go and find my boy? He's been pining for an adventure, says he's tired of living cooped up behind the walls. But he doesn't understand how dangerous it is out there. I warned him. A raptodon would snap him up first chance it got. I just know one's rip his arm off and is gnawing on it his sweet little fingers. He should have listened to his mama. I promised I'd keep him safe here with me. He's been listening to those awful broadcasts that the Iconoclasts put out. I begged Sanjar to put a stop to them, but did he? No! And now I just know my boys run off to Amber Heights. That is, if a Manta Queen hasn't spooled out and eaten his entrails for breakfast already! That old settlement, southwest of Stellar Bay. I don't know which is worse, the thought of my son shacking up with the nutty iconoclasts. Or that he never made it. Sprats could be nesting in his rotting body alongside the road as we speak. Or, or maybe Marauders got him, pulled all his teeth out, crushed him into their drugs and made him snort him. Oh, the things that could happen to my sweet baby. Those low-life degenerates, leading innocent boys into a life of danger. Oh, they make it sound so exciting. 
Like it's noble to risk it all out there, fighting for the greater good. Not sure I'm seeing the problem here. You're one of them, aren't you? You should be ashamed of yourself, young man. Just as your mama would be. How noble is it to worry your loved ones? Not at all, I say. But still they preach their sermons of anarchy and rebellion to anyone who listened. If they weren't holed up in Amber Heights, I'd knock them all upside the head. Thank you. Oh, I know he'll be safe now that someone's able to fetch him home. You look for him in Amber Heights, you hear? It's down the road southwest of town. I'm sure he made it that far. I just know it. And if you find any of them iconoclasts indoctrinating my boy, you punch them in the mouths. Tell them what I think of them luring little boys away from their mamas. It's immoral. I always wanted to visit Stellar Bay. Taking the sights, the sounds. Wait, what's that smell? The trick is to breathe through your nose.
are victorious. I wonder what would like to come.
visitor? What an unexpected surprise. Please, come in. Come in. We're armed to the teeth. What's he gonna do? Kill us with generosity? That's the spirit. Now come in. Make yourselves comfortable. Excellent. You've arrived at just the right time. My wife is putting the finishing touches on dinner. Please, make yourself at home until it's ready. I think I just lost my appetite. Oh, hello there. You come for... for, uh, dinner? Are you sure? Because someone came for dinner yesterday. Or a week ago. Wasn't that you? Maybe not. It just gets hard to remember things. I recall moments, feelings, but the details slip. Other times it's like there's fog. I... Sorry, have we talked about this before? That's nice of you. I usually feel better after I eat. Mama said dinner's almost ready, huh? I saw that. Hey, what are you doing in my room? Liar. You're trying to steal the last of my rocket candies, aren't you? The ones that come in a bottle with a rocket ship on it, like the other man used to bring. I'm not telling you. What do you think you're doing? I don't have time for this. Definitely gonna have nightmares about this. It is unnatural, an affront to the grand plan. But what's this? You're tracking blood into the kitchen. Oh dear. You've been nosy, haven't you? Huh. 
How very rude. Time to teach you some manners. Ah! <laughs>
I'm just saying, if we did need to dispose of a body, this would be a good spot for it. Watch your step around those pools, boss.
stopped it. Mr. Millstone, you seem like a young man who could use some direction in your life. Is this about me ending up in the wrong bunk? Because I swear I wasn't that drunk. Trouble checking in? Or you might need directions to the amenities? If you're locked out of your cabin, a replacement key costs 50 bits. Guess it's true. Fallbrook really is the best kept secret in all of Monarch, excepting the Borst Factory secret ingredient. We're a leisurely stopover for the more adventurous spacefaring traveler. Understand? Well, we like quick on the draw types like you. Saloon is straight back and to the right. Once you're feeling sated, you're welcome to a private cabin. Only $2.50 a night. Ms. Malin can let you one if you're interested. She's the one who runs this racket. I am here to anticipate and facilitate your needs, patron. No reservation, no problem. Day trippers are always welcome in our saloon. Straight back and to the right. If you hit the falls, you've gone too far. Check in with Ms. Malin. She'll set you straight. You, uh, you're looking for Ms. Malin. On an errand for the boss lady? Oh, uh, that sounds ominous. Yeah. Uh, Ms. Malin won't like that a whit. She's... She's not but just down the way. A ten to one says she's either pouring drinks or skinning a sprat in the saloon. A uh, word to the wise, Ms. Malin don't take kindly to interlopers. When I said sprat, I didn't mean the sort with whiskers and a tail. Looks like my kind of town. Reginald's stuff, all right, but it looks like he's not home. Let's search the... Sounds like Cheney's gone gold panning down on the river. I guess even scholars need to find ways to make ends meet in exile. Arthur today? Eh, last time I saw him was uh, stars. I can't remember. Days. You don't think.
always imagined Falberg would be. I saw this one episode of Terror on Monarch. How soon Helen went down that waterfall in a barrel? What do you want? Oh, hey, Vicar Max. What are you doing on Monarch? I thought scientists ain't welcome here. Haven't you heard? Everyone's welcome here. It's a fucking worker's paradise. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Never worked a day in your miserable life. You're just a parasite living off my goodwill. Well, guess what? My goodwill's exhausted, along with my temper. This is the guy who told me about the book while we were in prison. I lied about finding a scholar. But I don't care about any of that anymore. I just want to inflict massive amounts of pain on this guy. I couldn't risk you not bringing me here. It sounds like you have things to work out between you. I'll just be on my way. Now, where were we? Oh, that's right. I was about to beat you. Severely. Wait, wait, wait! I know who can translate the book for you. It's too late for that. I threw away my life chasing fairy tales. Will punishing you fix any of that? Of course not. But by law. It will make me feel a whole lot better. Okay, okay. Talk, Reggie. It was stolen from some sort of expert on philosophism. Weird hermit lady on Scylla. My father used to deliver supplies to the mining outpost there. It's true! My father collected some extra bits on the side by diverting some of the supplies to the gal. The way he told it, he thought the book looked valuable, so he took it. Couldn't find any buyers when it turned out to not only be French, but banned as well. Fine. We've got more important things to do anyway. Captain, I was hoping for a word. I want to thank you for talking some sense into me back there with Cheney. It has been a long time since I gave in to my violent enthusiasm. You're right. I owe you an apology. I've been so obsessed for so long, I couldn't see anything else. You offered me a place on your crew, friendship, and I used you to get to Cheney. And even then, you saved me from myself. I don't know if I could live with myself had I gone through with it. You owe me nothing, I know, but I... I'm begging your forgiveness. Thank you. I promise I will be nothing but truthful from this point forward. Oh, exactly as you'd imagine. Can't say I enjoyed this stint. It did provide me with plenty of time to think. The way I see it, the universe was snapping me back to where I needed to be. You stray too far from the course of your destiny. The world will try to correct for it. 